How is it that we can see depth on a planet? This is Pluto in a minute. With Dr. Brian May. Have you guys ever thought about the fact that we have two eyes but cameras only have one lens? There's a really easy way to see what the limitation of one lens is. If you hold a pen out in front of you at arm's length and alternately close your left and right eye, you will see the pen appear to move against whatever's behind it. The pen, of course, isn't actually moving, your eye is just seeing it from a different point. So when you have a camera like Lori on New Horizons, it only has one of those viewpoints. You don't get the same depth. So we evolved with two eyes, and a miracle happens every single second of your life. You get two separate pictures of the world through reaching your brain coming from the two different eyes and your brain puts them together and makes a, an incredibly stereoscopic in-depth map of the universe around you. A stereoscope reproduces that, that's the theory and it's been known since 1850 that you can do this. So we have here a stereoscopic picture of Pluto. guess what? Pluto! <laughs> and it's the first, probably the first real stereoscopic picture of Pluto in the entire universe. Uh, to have this, to make this, you have to have two different viewpoints, and that's what we got from this incredible uh, Pluto mission, the New Horizons mission. And I was lucky enough to be in the room when these came in, so I was able to put them together. And if you look into here, what do you see, Amy? You see a phenomenal sphere jumping off of the off of the page. This is so cool, <laughs> um, and all kinds of surface detail. You can see more surface detail than you can in a straight image. It's amazing. Now, yeah, stereoscopy you... is magic, you know, and it's a magic that happens every instant of your life, so why not use it for photography? And can you tell us what we will learn when we get more stereoscopic images from Pluto? Well, stereoscopic images are fun, and they're very real. They make you feel like you're there, but they also give you a lot of information because you can get heights from this. You can get the whole shape of the mountain ranges. You can, you can establish the depths of the of the craters and the rills or whatever, you know. The New Horizons spacecraft will eventually bring back dedicated images for stereoscopic data. In the meantime, we'll have to make our own. Okay, for more on Pluto, be sure to check out the New Horizons websites, join the conversation online using the hashtag PlutoFlyby, and of course, come back here every day for more Pluto in a minute.